This is what the school leadership says it's up against. A fashion world that pushes short shorts. And despite school rules, more and more girls were showing up too overly exposed. On any given warm day, say in August, September or May, you know, we may have a hundred or more kids who might be in violation. Garden Spot Middle School Principal Jeffrey Starr gave us the long and short of it. Enforcing the shorts rule was stealing classroom time as a whole. Take time out of their day to police shorts or other dress code issues. It really takes time away from their ability to teach. And time from students in the classroom. Likewise, if students are in violation, they're sent to the office and they're out of the classroom. The rule uh, as it stands now is fingertip length shorts, which would be standing, you know, relaxed. But the decision to ban shorts altogether in just the middle school has okay. raised a long list of concerns by parents. Do it across the board, all the way or no way. I do have children in all three buildings, um, and with some of them being allowed to wear shorts and some not, it's going to you know, cause uh, controversy and fighting and bickering. We talked with Shannon Portellis in front of the sign that sits on Main Street in New Holland that is encouraging parents to join a meeting Thursday on this issue. They say the policy is put into place without enough public debate. I think there are lots of other options that should be looked at before it's done to this extreme. And we did hear a tone of compromise in our conversation with the principal star today. That's something I need to take into consideration. Um, I didn't realize perhaps how, you know, how passionate boys were about wearing shorts.